The Pandora's Lair Raid is here, and today I want to show you how to do the level 105 for instant base repair. Hey everyone, Derpy here, and welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. As I get started, I will say I cover the mechanics of this target, the weapons on the ships, and techniques to use against everything in a level 104 video, so make sure to watch the first few minutes of that one if you haven't yet, and then I do show you how to do that in the next few minutes. That is useful reading for seeing this video. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. So the 105 does matter where you enter from in terms of where you, where you are placed. The actual techniques are more specific to each small group of ships, so not really too worried about that. It honestly almost doesn't matter where you're coming on. There's no real set path. What you do want to do is stay moving against these subjugators because those rockets can hurt, especially if they hit you when you're stopped or close to stopped. Going to go around the target and hit those guys. You can try and group them up and pull them onto one of the mines as you kill them, which I've had a little bit of luck with, although it really doesn't seem to make too much difference at all. Like you can see, I've got one mine dead there. If you rewind 10 seconds, maybe you notice something, maybe you don't. I couldn't really see anything myself. The things that actually do damage to you and you need to worry about are the Ronins right here, these normal ones, the silver ones. These are circling a few lurkers. What you can sometimes do, and I'll try and do here, is get close to the lurker and do some splash onto this guy and do some damage onto the, the subjugators as they're still circling. It doesn't always work, and as you can see, I got a shot from the subjugators onto me that time or from the Ronin's onto me that time, which means I took a volley and did, didn't kill this guy, which is unfortunate. I'll see if I can get close and hit the other one while staying away from the lurker and not getting hit by the damaged one, and then while I'm at it, I can even get some damage onto the vengeful Ronin right there. Not too bad there, might have got a mortar that slipped through, you could rewind and watch that if you really wanted to. Okay, here's the next subjugator. I'll stay away from him because this one in particular, he's probably shot at me twice now. I've probably gotten more damage from fooling around with this than just killing it in one pass. If I get close to this last lurker, I should be able to do some splash damage. I'll go ahead and wait a second even until it's a little bit closer. Should be able to do some splash damage onto him and kill him without him firing another time. Okay, let's go ahead and check out this last lurker. Again, outrange these guys, you won't have a problem. I tend to be pretty picky about this one and press the down button early. Some raids, we can just click on it and stop. I haven't tried this one too much because these do a ton of damage. Here's the subjugator. This one's actually going to do some damage to me. Try and pull over, over the mines to get the second subjugator killed. Doesn't really work out that way though, unfortunately. With the large ship, you want to make sure you are hitting this one from behind because there is a very, very high minimum range on this guy. I'm actually not going to hit this one yet because these two mines were scaring me. You want to essentially orbit around the outside of this one and don't get hit by these turning bits, so hit him just after he turns. There's, a again, a really painful guy. You want to hit it when it's completely clear and there's nothing else around this one. Vengeful Ronin, see if you can stay at max range from this guy so your countermeasures have a more, more time to fire. Then only hit one of them at once if you can help it because you don't want your gales to be overwhelmed like that one stray shot I think I saw come through. Okay, here's another Ronin. We'll zoom in and finish him off there. I want you to see what happens here with this next cluster. I'll try and do some splash onto the first guy. Almost. Try and get the second one. Second subjugator here. Stay moving if at all possible while avoiding the regular Ronin from getting close to me, because again, he does a lot of damage if you get hit. Let's turn around now and just do a quick drive-by of the lurker and get the subjugator in the process, maybe even sneak into the center right here. That's unfortunate. I just took a bunch of damage from that guy from that turning move. I really just want to get the subjugator in one run when he's moving directly towards me is ideal. I should have enough speed, though, to get him on this run, and he's dead right there. Lurkers, don't need to worry about those too much. Like I said, just outrange them, you'll be okay. I am using a steelhead screw, which could be the difference between instant repair and having repair in base for a few minutes. Not really worried about a steelhead screw. Obviously, it's not a demo or GM or anything. Okay, here is the center ship. As you can see, staying at max range from this guy after he turned because you don't want to have him turn onto you. That would be really unfortunate if you were close to out the outside and then he turned. Splashing about three ships at once here could be a little bit effective, could be a good way to go on that one. Last lurker in the target, and then we can check our damage and, of course, talk about the build for these ships. Triggered a mine there. That was unfortunate. 
Okay, let's go ahead and check out the damage, battle report, and the build. I will likely honestly be autoing the 105s, even though these are definitely not an auto target, simply because I don't want to drive two targets in the raid if I can just auto three of them and drive only the 105. Total repair time is 23 minutes and 55 seconds. That is really close to instant base, but it is still instant base. I have a Cormorant ship. I have a Gale ship right here. Then I have one, two, three damage ships counting the flag. As you can see, I have some regular, you know, heavy weapons are pretty much regular. I have some non-legendary ones. I have some uncommon ones, and I don't have all legendary armor. Definitely legendary is, of course, better, but you don't need it. Even if I wasn't X1 and etc., the driving path is, like, not really relevant. It's the techniques and such that I'm using that which are relevant here. I did mention this in the other video on 104, but you do get a chest which can contain a repair token. If you hit a bunch of these, you can stack up repair tokens, repair your whole fleet, and do this all over again. I might be able to do that if I do some autoing, although autoing will get you much more damage than this one. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like, and, and uh, if you have any questions on this, leave a comment in the comment section on Facebook, YouTube, etc., and I'll get back to you with any help that I can give you on this video. With that said, and until next time, I want to give a huge shout out to the channel members whose names appear on the end screen now. They're helping make videos like this one possible. With that said, and until next time, this is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.